Uh, today we're going to put together a little video for you guys. Uh, this is going to be sort of like a uh, an instructor version of how to teach Fuchikabe. So um, for parents, sometimes I've heard that you know it's difficult to watch the videos and kind of switch things around mirror image. So I'm going to teach you guys exactly how we would teach a student, and I'm going to show you some tips um, and you know things that little keys that we give the kids as we're working which is especially helpful for little samurais, um, but also, you know, you. Okay, so what we're gonna start off with is first thing we teach is the yoi position when we do this class. So Senpai MJ is gonna be our student and I'm the instructor. You can think of the camera angle as almost like you watching as a parent um, on how to teach this. So first thing we're gonna start is, is we're gonna put our feet together like the letter B, okay? We're gonna take our left hand and it's gonna go over the top uh, of our right hand. So nice and straight and then we're gonna stand nice and still. This kata is called fuchikata each, okay? Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna teach the kids is which uh, foot we're gonna step with. So we're gonna start off uh, from that yoi position, okay? And we're gonna tap our left leg, okay? So that leg is gonna be the leg that moves. We're gonna step that foot out into a zankuzadachi, or front leaning stance, okay? And then we're gonna do our low walk from there, okay? And then what we like to do is we like to repeat that move a few times to try and get them an idea of of how it works, okay? So get them a lot of repetition. So we're gonna go back to the beginning. So getting that UI position, we're gonna tap our left leg, okay, and that foot's gonna step out into our block, okay? And then we go back and we do it again, and we won't keep going through over and over again for the video purposes, but when you're practicing at home, definitely useful to do that, okay? So again, tapping that left leg, okay, that leg is gonna step out, and we're in a low block, okay? Now the next move, we're gonna step in and we're gonna do a punch, and this is gonna be a shorter stance, okay? So we step, and then we punch. Okay, and then we'll do it one more time from the beginning. Okay, so we tap that left leg, we step, low block, and then we step and we punch. Okay. So this next move is kind of where the kids have the toughest time with this, with this uh, foot transition. So usually what we do is we give them those same kind of keys, okay? So we're gonna tap this leg that's in the front. Okay, so somebody, uh, MJ taps that right leg. Okay, we're gonna take that leg, we're gonna swing out to the right side, and we're gonna swing it all the way over until we land facing the other wall. So we swing that leg over, and then we go into that little block again. Okay, now the next move, same thing, he's gonna step into that shorter stance and he's gonna do that punch. Okay, and then if we go back to the end, we'll show you those first four moves again. Okay, so we tap our left leg, we step out, we little block. Okay, then we're gonna step into our short walking stance, we're gonna punch. Okay, we're gonna tap that front leg. Okay, that's the leg that's gonna swing. Usually swing is a key word that I give them. Okay, so we're gonna swing all the way around until the land's facing the other wall, and then we're gonna low block. And then we step, and we do our punch. Okay, so for our next moves, we're gonna use that same thing. So that front leg, okay, is gonna be moving. So we'll tell them, okay, you're gonna tap that front leg. Okay, that leg is gonna move up toward the front of the room. And then we low block. And then we're gonna do three punches. These are all gonna be in those short stances. So we're gonna step and punch, step and punch, and then step and punch. And those are our first eight moves of the kata, okay? So I'm gonna go through it one more time. Okay, so we're gonna start in your way. Okay, we're gonna tap left leg, step and low walk, and then we step and we punch. Okay, now we're gonna tap that front leg. We're gonna swing that leg over toward the front of the room, and then we're gonna low walk. Okay, then we're gonna step and we're gonna do that punch. Now we're gonna tap that front leg. That leg is gonna step up to the front of the room, low block, and then we have punch, punch, punch. 